vlog. So today's video is my November favorites. I actually haven't done a favorites video in a while. So I figured as like a bonus video this week, I do a monthly favorite. The lips I have on Lime Crying Peacock, Porn Flower Pigment from MAC on top. So if you guys are curious, that's what that is. So my number one palette favorite for this month is the Viseart uh, Dark Matte Palette. I picked this guy up during the Sephora uh, VIB sale and it's not cheap. It was like $100, which is still kind of like hard for me to grasp. I'm like, oh, I spent $100 on a makeup palette. I can remember back in the day when I was like 19 and I had like this crazy disposable income and I'd go to MAC and spend like $1,100 in a trip. What the fuck was I thinking? Like, I have just palettes and palettes of, like, MAC stuff and, like, MAC lipsticks and just so much money. And then now, as I've gotten older, I'm like, oh my god, I don't know if I want to spend $32 on a mascara. Like, well, the whole concept of money changes so much as you get older. It's unreal, but... Anyway, so anyway, uh, that tangent, <laughs> but yeah, this palette is gorgeous. It has some of the coolest shades in it that like I've seen, you guys know, like it's, it's really cool. And definitely it applies better on the eye than it does in finger swatches. I have a feeling that if I would have swatched it in store, I would have been a little bit more hesitant to purchase it, um, which I'm happy that I went ahead and applied it to the lid. My number one favorite this month, uh, close second. I haven't played with it too, too much, but I touched it a little bit on my days where I'm not filming videos. Um, that's obviously the neutral matte palette. I will have a week of looks using this at some point. I kind of want to balance like how many neutral weeks are in a row. So a couple more makeup products. I did pick up another Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion. So because I'm not doing makeup on anyone else, I find this incredibly handy because I just put it on my eye as opposed to like squeezing it on my finger. I don't know. I just like this wand. I think it's going to be good to like be able to squeeze out all the product. So a lip product that I really liked and again you guys saw me kind of play with this month is um, the NYX Liquid Suede in the color Brooklyn Thorn. Um, really beautiful color. I'll swatch it a little bit right there um, didn't think I was gonna like the consistency of these but I actually do they're not really a liquid lipstick um, they last reasonably long but I really really like the consistency of them uh, it's it's different so it's one of those things that's hard to explain like it does dry down but not totally matte and it does move around but then it sticks a good amount of time it's really strange but yeah they're not very expensive so I do suggest picking one up seeing if you like it and then this color is just a really cool like dark grungy grayish that kind of popular color so I happen to really like that as well and then the last makeup item that I liked uh, this was a little sample thing that I picked up from Sephora this is the benefit give me brow now typically I use dip brow in my eyebrows but on the days that I want a softer brow I've literally just been taking this little sample guy and brushing it through I'm almost out of it and I'm actually going to go in and purchase a full size of it um, it's really cool. So it's just like a little like eyebrow brush. It's very very tiny So it really enhances what hair you might have there already Darkens them up a little bit and just kind of keeps them in place So I really like this and I actually like using it alongside uh, Dip brow just to add a little bit more texture So fluff up like the front part of my brows with this to make them look a little bit more full So yeah, I really like this. It was kind of one of those happy samples that like Finally, I get a sample of something that I actually enjoy. All right, so then two makeup items that I didn't like this month. You guys know because I've been using it and I don't like it. Uh, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect Mascara. Uh, I don't like this. It's just so clumpy. I heard really good things about it. I saw somewhere on like a forum people were like going crazy about it. And so I was like, whatever, it's cheap and I don't want to spend $33 for my um, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. But let me just tell you, I will be going back to this mascara because I have not found one that I've liked as much as this. And this one is not it. I find it just deposits so much product right in the base. And then uh, as you fan it out, it just makes like six eyelashes. <laughs> and this is impossible to take off at the end of the night. Um, so I'm stuck doing that thing where you're kind of like like trying to get mascara off of your eyelashes. I've lost several eyelashes trying to get this shit off. Uh, I don't like it. It's okay for the bottom. like. It's any mascara is good for your bottom lashes, I feel like, but I don't like it for the top. It's not good. And um, I'm gonna go back and get Velvet Noir because I really can't stand that stuff. I got to try out for a couple days the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in um, the shade 42. Uh, really, really liked the shade, and I liked that it was just kind of like a blank canvas for makeup. I, I found it to be too drying for my skin type. Emphasized like everything, it looked kind of gross after a couple hours. 
And I actually think this broke me out. Nothing really breaks me out. I have a pretty okay skin and I manage it pretty well. Um, but I did get, you guys can't tell I'm wearing makeup now, but I did get a couple of like random breakouts uh, after I used this for about four days. If you like it, then that's fine. But for me, it did not work. So I want to talk about a couple of clothing things because I don't really talk about that much on my channel. You guys kind of see me from like here up. But I'm basically a big fan of like comfy stuff and like sweaters. Also, I'm the kind of person that thinks that like Halloween clothes are like everyday clothes. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I actually picked up in October, but I didn't get to show you guys. First thing that I got in October, I didn't get to wear them very often, but these are like the coolest leggings of all time. Um, I'm going to show you guys. They are uh, Beetlejuice uh, leggings. <laughs> really cool. And they have like 13 on them, um, and it's like their uh, mugshot which is really cool. So you can have like Beetlejuice and Lydia like on your ass and it kind of goes down like that. But yeah, um, they're really cool. I don't know. I got them at like a little like local sort of like punk alternative shop basically. And like they were the last pair there and I was like, give me those. I need them immediately. But they are a little bit see-through through the white spots. So yeah, so basically I put on black leggings. I put these on top so that um, it's nice and thick and kind of warm as well. But yeah, I, I love these and they were expensive, so I pretty much wear them whenever I can. But something that was inexpensive, you guys always comment like, where do I get these sweaters? I have a, I have a whole whack of these, but basically I love lounge sweaters and sweaters that I can kind of like throw on go to a friend's house and chill, like, you know, I wouldn't wear this to work, but like, it's just, you know, sweaters to chill in. And so these I actually pick up from H&M, they're like 13 bucks, and they're super cheap. And I get like the largest size, so I can just sort of like bum in them and whatever. So the one I have on right now is like hot dogs, pizzas, and french fries. The other one that I got for Halloween and kind of, or whatever, um, is this one. This one has like little bats on it. Love this sweater. So I have another one that looks sort of like a, um, a skeleton body. That one is in my wash right now, but it's pretty cool. Uh, and then I picked up this one, which is hilarious because uh, the pumpkins are like right on your boobies. So yeah, and this one's like winking. So it's like, look at my spooky boobies. So I actually picked up this dress for my engagement shoot. Um, and I will have a video up with Jeff once we actually have like a couple days off together. We basically don't have days off because of his work and my work. I work through the weekend, he works through the week. And so we don't have a day off to really like film together. But um, during the holidays, I'll try to sit him down and film a couple wedding related videos. But it's like a cream colored skater dress that has sort of like vintage Halloween uh, pattern. So it has the cat and the black cat here. Um, let me see what else. Oh, here. It has, it's upside down, but it has a little cat and like a pumpkin. But I ordered it from a site called Blame Betty, which was like, I think it's a Canadian brand, um, but they have really cute clothes. I'll link them down below, not sponsored at all. I paid for it myself. Um, but yeah, basically that dress ran a little bit big. I looked at the measurements and thought, oh, you know, like it'd probably be better to order it bigger, but I could have ordered it like my actual size that I normally am, which is like a large and those kind of things. Um, but yeah, it runs a little bit big, but um, for my actual engagement shoot, I basically, I wore two bras to like, fill out the cups of it and then because I don't have big boobs so I wore two bras and then I used like a belt and I belted it and it looked okay it looked really cute and it looked really nice with my engagement pictures which you guys will see soon and then another totally random favorite this is an empty bag uh this stuff is amazing so I don't talk about food on my channel very often because I'm just don't really care but um this stuff is absolutely insane this is Chicago mixed popcorn and I know what you guys are thinking, it probably looks really gross, but basically it's like cheese popcorn and caramel popcorn mixed. I thought it was disgusting until a bunch of friends of mine on Facebook were like, this is the best shit I've ever tried in my entire life, you need to try this. And I'm like, no, it sounds fucking gross. They're like, no, Natasha, like, try it. Well, let me just say, uh, we got this bag the other night and I sat and finished the whole thing. President's Choice brand. Wherever you are, try it. You will not be disappointed. It's the perfect mix of like salty and sweet and it's like, oh, it's so good. But yeah, one more favorite just to wrap up this video. I always like putting in a podcast because you guys know I have a really long commute to work, about three hours a day I commute, uh, three to four hours depending. I always listen to podcasts because I can't read on the bus. It makes me puke. Um, and so the podcast that I've been listening to like religiously is called My Favorite Murder. Uh, it is like a true crime, like they talk about different murders that they not like, but they want to talk about basically. And uh, it's by these two women. They're really funny and they tell stories really well. I know a lot about true crime. And so they talk about murders that like I'm aware of as well. Um, 
yeah, so I suggest it if you're into true crime. If you're not, don't listen to it. It can be very, very graphic. But if you're not into sort of like learning about true crime and murders and that kind of thing, uh, I totally don't suggest it because it can be very triggering or it can be very like sensitive to some people. So use it your own will. Like if you're into that kind of thing, then that's my suggestion to you. Otherwise, you might want to stay away from it. I actually have to stop listening to it just for a little bit because I don't normally dream. This is something, another random fact about me here. I don't dream very often. I maybe dream like once a month, once every three months. Um, I have a feeling like I dreamt, but I never remember anything. Or I just wake up and I don't think I dreamt at all. I don't know what it is about me that I just can't get to that level of sleep. I don't know. Um, but I very rarely dream. But when I do, they're like super, super vivid. And I typically wake up and I get like freaked out, even if it was a good dream, because my mind just isn't used to seeing dreams. And so I just feel like I don't process them very well. Um, I was listening to My Favorite Murder for like a couple days and went to bed and I ended up dreaming that Jeff and I were a part of like a home invasion and it was like incredibly vivid and fucking terrifying. Basically we had like a intruder in the middle of the night and like Jeff hit him with a baseball bat and for some reason the guy had a knife and I basically wrestled the knife out of his hands and like slit my own hands in the process and so I'm bleeding everywhere. Basically had to like stab a guy to death in my dream which was like vivid. Like I felt and woke up like I have just fucking stabbed a person to death. It was fucked. Like I, it was so fucked. And I know if, if you guys have dreams all the time you're aware of that feeling of like oh but like I don't have dreams very often so I literally like woke up like right away at four o'clock in the morning and then was fucked up for like three days like I'm not even kidding like, like I woke up and like couldn't breathe had like a panic attack it was anyway so I kind of like stopped listening to my true crime podcast after that for a couple days let's maybe tone it down on how much murder my brain is absorbing uh I'm just warning you if you have vivid dreams about that kind of thing just be warned because oh like I woke up and was just losing my mind like I was like I just stabbed someone like anyway that just happens to be my favorite for the month hopefully you guys like this sort of longer chatty videos um obviously coming tomorrow is another week another palette so stay tuned for that I uh, haven't decided yet at the time that I'm filming this which palette that's gonna be so we'll see <laughs> it's a mystery to me um but yeah hopefully you guys are doing good and until my next video I will talk to all you soon bye